YouTuber. Uh, and once again, Sandro from Beer Circle. Check me out on Facebook if you haven't yet. Um, tonight is a special night. I'm going to open something that I've been cellaring for quite a while and it's close to my heart because it's a brewer from Switzerland, which is where I grew up. I'm Italian, but my folks uh, immigrate to Switzerland and that's where I spend all my youth um, enjoying a lot of snowboarding and skateboarding and um, hot summers uh, and uh, lots of snowboarding in the cold winters. But anyway, this is Spike and Jerome's Barley Rhine, which is a barley wine made with rye, I believe. There it is. A little bit over 10% ABV. Well, this is a collaboration. Um, this is 2011. Um, if uh, you're not familiar with BFM, which is a Brasserie des Franches Montagnes in French, <laughs> the French part of Switzerland, um, they are the brewery that releases uh, the Abbey Saint Bon Chien Sour Ale aged in all sorts of different barrels. Uh, highly rated beer. I have a bottle of that in the fridge. But that's a 750 uh, milliliters. This is a 375, I believe, or 350, I forgot. Uh, pretty small. There's a little bit of like sediments on the bottom, so I don't want to shake too much this thing, but uh, I'm pretty excited, so let's pop it and see what's up. I thought I'd make it look more cozy by sitting next to the fireplace. Wow, there's almost like no carbonation on this. Okay, let's see. Well, at least there was no not a pop at all. Yeah, this is not really extremely carbonated. I guess it's in there um, in the spirit of their Abbey Saint Bon Chien Sour, which is completely flat. Which I kind of smell some of the characteristic of um, of. Uh, of the Abyss Saint Bon Chien in this. I thought this was more like a barley wine. I guess it's a sour ale. I'm really, I guess I didn't do much uh, uh, research on this. A collaboration ale aged well, 2011 vintage. Uh, it's a 33 centiliter bottle. Yeah, this is a sour. I, I was expecting a bar barley wine, but it says barley rind, but I guess, I don't know if you can see at the bottom, barley rind. But anyway, 10.0276% ABV. If you guys want to check out the brewery, try to zoom in on that. I don't know if it's coming across. BFM, Brasserie des Franches Montagnes. Anyway, let's give it a try. I think this is um, in the same spirit as a non carbonated sour ale, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. So, cheers. I uh, hope this is not too cold for it. Oh wow, amazing. It is a sour, and it is very close to a, uh, a B. Saint Monchin. I was not expecting that. I, for some reason, this is Barley Ryan. I was expecting a barley one with pie, and uh, I should have looked it up, to be honest. But knowing this is like a special vintage, well, this is amazing. So, I detected that on the nose right away because it has that same those seem like a barrel character, but that sour, kind of tart nose on it. Very, uh, very tannic, oak, um, Venice, like wine-like character. Some really uh, like um, tart cherries. Um, there's a little bit of funk in there, and it's not super funky uh, brew, but uh, it is a little bit of like like hay or uh, like a horse blanket. I mean, it's just really subtle. It's not it's not a funk bomb, if I may say, but it's definitely very Venice, like super wine like. I wonder. I'm gonna have to investigate this, and uh, if you know more about it, please put some comments below and let me know if you had this before. This is amazing, by the way. It's just, it's like a plum, fig, sour cherries, sour grapes, honey, like a hint of honey. Um, 
find a hint of vinegar, but it's really not vinegar. It's just more like a like a, a little you know, lactobacillus um, uh, sourness character. Oh, this is amazing. Cheers again. We'll do this a second time. Amazing. If I only knew, I would have taken two bottles. This is not. It's not one of those like um, extremely affordable uh, beer, but since it's from back home, or what I call home, although I'm Italian, is where I grew up. Um, I couldn't resist, and I'm very pleased. This is perfect for the night. I mean, I'm serving this at about you know probably like 50 degree Fahrenheit, uh, which is actually perfect for it. I think. Uh, it was a little too cold and I let it sit on the counter for the last like 15 minutes or so. And again, Cuvée de Lirient, uh, it says here beer de garde. I mean, did a little bit of the map with this thing. I should have done more research. I apologize. It's beer de garde. But obviously, beer de garde um, in French, beer de garde, only refers to the fact that it's a cellar beer, not. In, and I hear a lot, beer de garde is a style, and where I'm from, or where I grew up, or from what I know, <laughs> being from where I am from, uh, beer de garde is not really a style. You can, there's a lot of different styles of beer that are beer de garde, uh, and I'm taking a, a more English accent here, uh, but uh, it, all it is is cellaring beer, and all it is, it's a high gravity uh, beer that has a lot of characters that uh, will suit it for aging, uh, for cellaring. Um, yeah, this is really amazing. It's not overly sour. This is that you can definitely introduce this to somebody that's not really all about, you know, pokery, super sour type of beers. Um, a person is a wine drinker will absolutely enjoy this. This would be awesome paired with, man, some camembert, some really stinky like um, brie. Um, like something really like strong and because it would stand it and the acidity would cut through the fatty you know uh, a double cream like a French double cream um, I'm having a lack of uh, names for cheeses right now which it's a shame because I was raised in Switzerland but I should know more cheese but this is for really great like double triple cream super fatty like rich you know like French style type of cheese I don't want to say French cheese because America has amazing cheeses um, other places like England or Spain or Italy, but it really fatty, like you know, like I wouldn't I wouldn't put it with something spicy like a gorgonzola or a blue cheese because I think it would clash with the acidity, but something very rich, like something that's really strong, and they could have a lot of funk to it, like a lot of feeds as I call it, uh, like really stinky deliciousness of a cheese with this. It cleanses your palate and has that almost like not white wine, but it's like a you know, it can between like a hybrid type of flavor. Um, anyway, I uh, strongly recommend. I don't know, I got this locally here in Los Angeles, um, where I've been living for the last you know, I don't know, 10 years of my life. Um, I was so pleased to find it. Um, like I said, I didn't do research, but uh, happily pleased. So, this one of those things. Uh, don't hesitate when you see something that if you feel it in your heart um, could be a, an amazing experience All you got to lose is like 10 bucks You know what? I'm gonna have a good night now. I'm by the fireplace, but it's way too hot like the fireplace is not on It's way too warm tonight to have that on But I figure I'll change the corner where I do the tastings I'm trying a couple of formulas. Let me know what you think if you enjoy uh, these reviews um, Spike and Jerome from um, Derapin Athen and BFM, Brasserie de Franche Montagne in Switzerland. Uh, there's more information here. Two third ale, one third ale matured in rum oak barrel. There you go. Finally, there's a little more uh, um, uh, information. It definitely is not carbonated, but it's not missing in the, the, the sourness, just like pokers you just a little bit uh, to get that, you know, light feeling in the, in the tongue. Um, and it cleans really nice. And the after taste is more like a little bit of the acidity. Uh, the sour cherry, um, that Venice, you know, aftertaste that lingers around. The oak is very subtle, but it's there. It's more like the tannins, um, not too much of the vanilla, 
I would say. It's more like probably like a French oak barrel. Um, so not so strong like an American, you know, like a distillery type of uh, American white oak that has a lot of uh, vanilla notes in it. This is not that at all. It's definitely like a European barrel, like Hungarian probably or French. Uh, doesn't say on here, but um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a good night and cheers. Mm. I'm going to kick it, kick back and enjoy it. Peace.